Hepatitis B has forced Hyuk into the hospital. His parents and the other patients keep their distance, but nurse Da Eun ignores them and voluntarily looks after him. Da Eun and Hyuk become closer as time passes. The overworked Da Eun even takes meals and naps in his hospital bed. Da Eun seems distant a few days before Hyuk would be released from the hospital. Hyuk returns home in gloom. But because he can't let Da Eun go, he manages to gain her phone number and calls her. He eventually accepts her invitation to spend the night at her home. As Da Eun awakens in the morning, Hyuk has already fixed the damaged lamp in her hallway and made breakfast for the two of them. The gestures moved her, and they exchange a quick kiss. From then, they start going on dates and eventually develop a strong bond. After some time, Hyuk is invited to join Da Eun on her trip to Jeju Island because she won tickets to the island for the Christmas holiday. He gladly takes the matching shoes that Da Eun buys for them because he is determined to lose weight. The identical sneakers are shown being worn by a thin Hyuk in the following scene as he runs in the park. He is a diligent engineer who soon learns from his boss that he will be transferred to a significant firm in Seoul. This implies a long journey from Incheon to Seoul and the possibility of being hired on a permanent basis if he performs well. He learns that there is another candidate on his first day, thus, he would not be certain of a permanent position at the end of his contract. The other applicant, Bo Young, reveals herself to be fiercely competitive and frequently undercuts him to improve her reputation with their superior. A crucial design issue that would cause the bridge to collapse if it were ever damaged by a tsunami is pointed out by Hyuk at a board meeting where the team is presenting a new bridge design based on a suggestion made by Bo Young. Bo Young, feeling humiliated, is instructed to work with Hyuk to solve the issue. As Hyuk leaves early, she works all night long without stopping. Hyuk first enjoys watching her suffer, but he eventually develops compassion for her and the two of them end up cooperating to find a solution. As they begin to get along, they collaborate on other projects. Hyuk and Da Eun's relationship is also beginning to suffer as a result of both of them frequently working late and Hyuk's growing resentment over having to travel between Incheon and Seoul. He generally comes home exhausted and doesn't seem to care much about Da Eun. When he returns home one evening, Da Eun complains that he didn't fix the broken light bulb and wouldn't take out the trash. She tells him that she hasn't had her period when they start fighting, but it turns out that she is actually pregnant with his child, whom she later aborts. It seems that Hyuk was even more irritated by it than he already was. He begins to remove himself from Bo Young and concentrate on Da Eun as he becomes aware of his affections for her. Yet soon, this starts to have an effect on his work. He is challenged by Bo Young, who confronts him that both of their performances would suffer. Hyuk consents to working later and begins working overtime once more, leaving Da Eun at home by herself. Da Eun and Hyuk were spotted out together one evening. Hyuk is uninterested in spending time with Da Eun. He frequently bemoans the crowd and declares that he just wants to eat and leave. Da Eun laments in the car because Hyuk no longer wants to spend time with her. Hyuk dismisses it and unintentionally refers to her as his beautiful Bo Young. He disputes Da Eun's accusations that he is cheating on her during their heated confrontation. He eventually drives out in a rage, dropping her off at the house they had shared. Bo Young and Hyuk are back in Seoul and are once more putting in extra hours. Hyuk kisses Bo Young as a result of their extensive time together and the developing sexual tension between them both. They both eventually develop love relationships. After some time, Hyuk starts to get restless and shows signs of missing Da Eun once more. Hyuk informs Bo Young at the company's team dinner that he will return to his prior post in Incheon when neither he nor Bo Young receives a permanent position offer from the company. She responds by saying that since her prior employment is likewise not a fixed contract, she would study overseas. The team manager makes an announcement in the backdrop about the opportunity to win a free holiday vacation to Jeju. As Hyuk hears this, he remembers the holiday vacation to Jeju he was scheduled to take with Da Eun. Unexpectedly, their flight was scheduled for that same evening. He jumps in a taxi and rushes to the airport after realizing he still loves Da Eun. He observes Da Eun standing on the sidewalk in front of the airport building as he pulls up to the facility. He claims to see her waving at him as he steps out of the taxi. He rushes in her direction but collides with someone and trips. 
The man he encountered is revealed to be the Hyuk from the opening scene of the movie. The setting is the same as when Daun gave the matching set of sneakers earlier. It is made clear that the Hyuk from the beginning of the movie is not the same Hyuk as the one from the action-packed middle. Two storylines occurred at the same time, and it turns out that Daun grew close to Hyuk because he took care of all the things Jang Hyuk neglected to do, such as fix the light bulb, and because she felt abandoned by her boyfriend Jang Hyuk. Although Jang Hyuk returns to the party in shock, they both depart for Jiju. Later, when Bo Young tells him that she just won the Christmas trip to Jiju and that they may go together, he tells her that he loves her even if he still has feelings for Daun.